on NBC6 at 5.30 starts now. Now on NBC6, the Cuban-American community in South Florida planning a massive rally to mark the death of Fidel Castro and what it means to their community and the renewed hope that Cuba will one day be a democracy again. Good evening to you. I'm Adam Cooperstein. And I'm Jackie Nesbrall in Petrina. Now those impacted by the almost six decades long regime are getting all ready to rally in Little Havana this Wednesday. Reporter Natalia Ortiz from our sister station T51 is live from there with the details on the gathering now. Natalia. That's right. Well, Cuban dissidents are preparing this rally for this week, and it's going to be held at the Bay of Pigs Memorial, which is right behind me and in the heart of Little Havana, to show their unyielding support and hope for the island nation. As Cuban officials on the island carry out a nine-day memorial service paying tribute to Fidel Castro, who died early Saturday morning, some of Castro's most vocal opponents in South Florida are making plans to rally in Miami. Orlando Gutierrez, a well-known Cuban dissident, explains, among other things, it's an effort to gather support from national and international communities for the island nation. The dictator has died, but dictatorship persists. And we feel that we must continue to march and protest and to put pressure so that the international community led by the United States supports the Cuban resistance and insists on a real transition to democracy in Cuba. The rally is set to take place on Wednesday at 5 p.m. at the intersection of Southwest 8th Street and the 1300 block in the heart of Little Havana. Miami Mayor Tomas Regalado said his aim is to accommodate the dozens of exile organizations who've approached the city officials requesting permission to hold the event, which he says will serve as a soundstage so voices are heard many miles from Miami. A message will be sent uh, to Cuba and to the world in terms of uh, what's next after Fidel Castro's death. Gutierrez emphasizes that the death of Fidel Castro has marked the end of a dark era for Cuba, but insists there is more to be done. If we don't mobilize, if we're not intelligent in what we do, if we don't continue to struggle, if we don't insist on democracy for Cuba, the regime will, will, will stay in power. So keep in mind that although the rally starts at 5 p.m., street closures will take effect starting at midday until 8 p.m. So if you plan on driving through the area, you might want to take an alternate route. That's what I've got live from Little Havana. I'm Natalia Ortiz for NBC6 News. Back to you. Natalia, thanks. And just